Well, we're back to the future in Let's Play Ape Escape. Whoa! Don't need monkey, don't need fame. Cut that. <laughs> oh, we're going to the amusement park. Yeah. Welcome this is a place I'd like to hang out at. I've been expecting you. So was it always named Spectre Land? Was it always about Spectre? My plans one to I, I don't think so. I think it was just an amusement park and Spectre was like the sideshow. Oh, okay. You know, one thing that happens at every time, and I hate it, every time I go to Disneyland, Walt Disney pops up on my smartphone and says, this is not about fun, this is about payback. The soldiers in the area are angry and ready for retaliation. Goofy's texting you and he's like, I'm gonna try to kill you when you come into this amusement park, you son of a bitch. <laughs> it's true, I did say all those bad words about him. <laughs> Is this a Kingdom Hearts LP crossover? Yeah. Uh, keep this in mind for the lore, folks. Oh, you gotta catch Spectre again, and 24 other monkeys! Yeah, well, I mean... This is Spectre Land. He's probably here. Right. I mean, yes. Oh, whoa, Western Land. <gasps> the circus. Wow. They've got his head frozen in a jar. <laughs> I can't wait to go to all these places. Oh, I love the poppin'. Wow, it's just like Disneyland. Let's uh, inspect her, uh, the Western Land. Oh, my goodness. I like that... We spent the entire game time traveling, and then we're just gonna have, like, a fake Western level. <laughs> right, uh, we're time traveling in our imagination now. I, I honestly feel like uh, they didn't really explore the time travel subject that much. <laughs> like, we did it, but, like, there wasn't- we could have been in Spectre Land the whole time. I feel a lot of the levels have kind of been in the modern age, to be honest. No- what? Uh, well, I guess, like, the modern age in a forest with dinosaurs. Right, like, how can you quantify that? Like, we were in the stomach of a dinosaur or whatever. Like, how do you quantify that in time? There's been a couple of towns. There's been a couple of factories, you know? Well, yeah, in the last world, which was in modern day. Mm hmm But, I mean, there's so much more in history. There's, like, 6,000 years, if you believe the word of God. Right. Yeah, why weren't you there for the for the crucifixion of Jesus? Yeah, hell, you gotta kiss the original monkey, Jesus Christ himself. Oh my god. I think that we should have stopped uh, Monkey Adam and Monkey Eve. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, um, the portrait of Adam, but uh, instead of a fig leaf, he's wearing the monkey shorts. Oh, I thought this was going, like, picture of Dorian Gray instead of, like... <laughs> he's got that monkey helm in front of his dong. <laughs> He's just wearing it. <laughs> well, uh, that's what they say that the 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 apple was actually a peak point helmet. <laughs> wow, and that and see that's why he got too darn smart for the Lord. Mm -hmm. So what is this based off of? This is a well. This is just like the line to get into the roller coaster. Oh, okay. Yeah, I get it. I just, just wasn't sure because it's very quiet and sort of ambient, but it makes sense that this is just a line. <gasps> An arcade! Aw, oh, shit, they got kids! Uh, Yo! Kids, kids, kids. Kind of just looks like Frogger. Yeah. I mean, that's good, too. Okay, it's Frogger, but you have to direct a bunch of kids over, but, like, half the time they won't listen to you and they're just, like, obstinate. Right, and they get hit by a truck, and it's like, it got banned really quickly. Hell, sure, <laughs> it's called kids, not teenagers. What are you talking about? Oh, you're right. Kids, they just, like, ignore what you say and do a different thing than you told them to, and they think it's funny. <laughs> it is, it is, though. Oh, no, it's the terror coaster. Oh. Charps, hold me. Keep your nets and legs inside the vehicle at all times. So it was like a seven hour wait, but all the coaster heads say that it's worth it. <laughs> yeah, they say this is the uh, largest uh, single standing roller coaster in the in the country. Yeah. When's uh, Defunct Land going to do an episode about this? <laughs> I like 
I like the the lethal element of this roller coaster. Not a lot of other roller coasters really play with the idea of murdering you. Right. And you know, this one has a lot of input from the rider. It means that it's only one person can go at a time, but still. <laughs> so here's my question. Is this the Universal Studios to Disney's Eggman Lands, or is it the opposite? Mm hmm. I feel like in Eggman Land, everything always is going wrong, so it's a lot more like Universal. Mm hmm. Right. So, so what video game, like Team Park, is like the Six Flags in this situation, though? Horrorland. <laughs> I feel it's a bit too teen for Six Flags, though. <laughs> sure. I was gonna say, that's, like, really mean for Six Flags. Like, <laughs> sure, as a kid, one time I threw up just waiting in line at Six Flags, but that doesn't mean it's that bad. Well, really? Like, you, you were that nervous about what was upcoming? No, I was just a child, and I didn't know I was sick. So, like, oh, before okay. we got into Six Flags, I just started spewing. Oh, okay. I get that. Complimentary crackers at the end of the roller coaster. Now that's customer service. Oh yeah, boy. usually they make you pay for that stuff. So I do have a bit of a hot take on team parks. How's it going? Uh huh. Okay. Hmm. Well, don't I don't think the roller coasters are all that exciting. I think dark rides are the way to go, honestly. Dark rides? I think that they should be called teen parks. <laughs> oh, so we could have adult parks. Right. And that's where you go on the sexy Elvira roller coaster. And you enter the code to whatever the pinball machine one was. Please, uh, we're adults to sexy Detective Pikachu coaster. <laughs> right? Every ride at the adult park is actually a tunnel of love. It's Detective Pikachu, but he's like checking you out. He's like giving you looks. Oh, uh. He's like uh, <laughs> saying those sexy Ryan Reynolds quotes. Like, uh, right. are you feeling randy? <laughs> Yep, classic Ryan Reynolds line. Okay, if they were gonna bring back Austin Powers, they'd, they'd get Ryan Reynolds. Let's be honest. They'd get Mike Myers again. I mean, look, Mike Myers isn't doing anything else. Uh, no, the gong show is going strong, I bet. Possibly. Okay, so they get Ryan Reynolds to do it, but as Deadpool. So it's Deadpool as Austin Powers. I feel that's more of like a... You know, I feel that concept is more inherently suited to the Love Guru. You know, Deadpool as the Love Guru? Oh, totally, yeah. Man, that'd be a slammer. They should get uh, the Zohan from You Don't Mess With the Zohan <laughs> to be the Love Guru. And Deadpool. Right. So, uh... Once, I was forced to watch You Don't Mess With the Zohan in school, and they spread it <laughs> out. In school? Over three days, I had to watch You Don't Mess With the Zohan, and let me tell you, I have a lot of opinions about the Israeli-Palestine issue. So, so, it took you three classes to get through the movie, or they played the movie three times? Uh, th uh three classes to get through it. They oh actually played it at one-fifth speed. <laughs> and uh, my classmates paid this movie more respect than the time we watched Ghostbusters, and all they kept saying was ghost fuckers over and over again. <laughs> they were like, ah, oh, this movie should star all women, is what they said about Ghostbusters. <laughs> they were like, you're right, we shouldn't mess with the Zohan, that wacky guy. <laughs> At the end of the Ghostbusters movie, they were like, ah, oh, I'm not gonna refute this. <laughs> <laughs> This is getting pretty spooky. I'll like, you know, I wasn't sure about the roller coaster, but this haunted house really given a good haunted house feel. Like how it tries to murder you. Future friend, like this is sort of the best of both worlds between roller coaster and dark ride, don't you mm -hmm. think? Yeah, it's got thrills and chills. Ow. Let me tell you about the spills. <laughs> Oof. Uh, the thrills, of course, being categorized as a roller coaster thing and the chills as a dark ride thing. Oh, we saved our friend. Ow, hey! Do we have like a gameplay section with her now? Down a little more gently. No. Well, oh. My fault. What do, what do they think this Did is? Ghostbusters 2016? <laughs> 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 the thanks I get. Hope you didn't hit your head too hard. 
Wow. I pretend I didn't hear that. Now, where? This lady is like a head taller than us. She could beat the shit out of us. You shouldn't yeah. like give any guff. I think she's like 14 and we're 12. What have you been doing? I've been saving people and catching monkeys. I've been monkeying around. <laughs> oh, maybe that isn't as funny in our current circumstances. We can't find them or beat them without our equipment. Besides, you don't need me here. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> oh, I thought she immediately got kidnapped again. <laughs> wow, that was cool. Yeah, I like that joke, honestly. <laughs> I like this idea of a roller coaster with an intermission in the middle. <laughs> yeah, it's great. It's like when they make you go through the gift shop, <laughs> but it's a whole nother attraction. Now that's something Spectre Land needs. A gift shop? Yeah. Think of yeah. all the cool bananas you could buy. Totally. I'll say it. I think at a theme park, the gift shop is the best attraction of them all. <laughs> That's my favorite thing about museums, is when you literally can't exit without going through the gift shop. Ah, professor. It's like better when it's like a museum of something like Deadly Sears and they've got the hokiest fucking me. shit. I'm fine. Right, like the time that they were doing the Titanic exhibit in my local one. <laughs> wow, cool, I could get little Vlad the Impaler pins with heads stuck on the end. <laughs> do you think you can help me? Sure, but how do I get in there? I'm phasing through the wall. The entrance is at the very top. You should be able to get in here from there. Uh, I once went to an exhibit about, like, you know, the horrors of, uh, like, uh, 18th century colonialism. Right. Where they had, like, here you can buy, like, a pencil bookcase that features this art book of, like, slaves. <laughs> That's wow. It was some real European shit. <laughs> Here's your, uh, trail of tears of bathrobe. <laughs> yeah, all the stuff in, uh, Specterlands gift shop is just like, uh, monkeys murdering people, but on a <laughs> cup holder. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you can just buy a submachine gun at the gift shop. It's like one of those, like, 30 different identical, um, like, uh, app store games that's just about like the the default monkey uh, model from Unity fighting against humans. This is a weirdly tapped market that I stumbled on once. They all use the exact same models and pictures of monkeys holding guns, riding horses, and fighting cops. <laughs> Are you sure it isn't like a uh... propaganda? Well, I was going to say, like, uh, viral marketing for Planet of the Apes. Oh, I mean, maybe. Are they making a new one of those soon? Uh, probably. Whoa! A clown? This isn't a monkey. You're just killing a regular man now. Uh, no, look, it's a robot. <laughs> that makes mm, it okay. Likely story. <gasps> oh, he drops, uh, lives, too. That's pretty good. Yeah! Yeah! Uh! Also, I like that the balloons are bombs with the strings for fuses. That's really good. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes you just can't hit the ball. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. This doesn't seem too bad, though. I mean, all things considered. Right. This honestly seems kind of boring for this game. Yeah. Uh. I mean, like, you're so... When you're fighting him, you're so entranced by this amazing clown that right. oh. you don't even notice the attacks. Oh, look, oh, there's the professor. But you still have to fight the clown. Oh, my God. Can the professor die here if he gets hit no. by the clown? Attack? He just okay. runs away. I love it. Oh, that's, that's some good AI. Now, what if it had turned out that that was the professor and he'd been brainwashed by Spectre? Oh, my like God. Jake was. <laughs> and Spectre just, like, brainwashed a clown into thinking he was the professor? <laughs> oh, okay, whoa. Thanks for saving. But then it turns out the clown so and the professor were the same guy all along, so like the prestige. Oh my god. <laughs> my classic to your gadgets, classic professor. twist of the prestige. No, the gadgets don't contain any real power. He, like, it's takes off his nose and it turns out it was fake the whole time. The truth <laughs> is inside of yeah. you, Spike. 
You've grown. All right, fine, Chirps. Uh, fight club, then. I <laughs> think so. Thanks, Professor, but I don't feel any different. It's weird how many cutscenes are in this level. Spike. Yeah, it feels like there's a lot of story that wasn't happening before. Yeah, it's it's really backloaded. Okay, I'll this is gonna to start Act Three of the game. This is when things get deadly serious. Right. This is where the big twist happens, and Yoko Taro turns itself on its head. Maybe you should continue to search for. Yeah, this is when Spike like starts questioning the efficacy of catching a monkey, and he's like, "Does this make me the real ape?" <laughs> But this music's playing the whole time, so it's, like, funny. <laughs> yeah. For the next two hours, hot dogs are half off. <laughs> I like the lamppost that's floating because of the, uh, the perspective change. Yeah. I I like how even through the speakers he's like talking so tiny he might as well just be yelling from the other side of the park. <laughs> I love how like games back in the day you had to like pick and choose what got to be 3D models and what was just sprites. <laughs> right? I, I mean, games still have to do that, right? Like, I mean, there's... yeah, but it's usually for like foliage or something like that. It's a little less obvious. Oh my god! I don't know. I always like to get kind of like a weird pop art aesthetic to a lot of these games. Yeah, no, I love it. Yeah, totally. No, it's good. It's just weird. Don't even bother, Spike. I don't think this kid is old enough to drive. I saw something that is, this is like a chariot race. Really the best. Let's go. I think they just refer to like events with Jake as like chariot things. I'm not really sure why. Oh, okay. Cause yeah, I thought this was gonna be like a war chariots thing. We'd have to run over Jake at the end with the horses. But no, this is just us fighting a car. No, no, he's trying to run over us. Maybe right. that's just, just like in general. You know, maybe that's like his tarot cards. Oh, I see. The chippy. <laughs> yep. Mm -hmm. This is actually how ancient gladiatorial fights used to go until someone noted how unfair it was to the person with a car. Mm -hmm. ah. It's it's fast. You gotta you gotta be careful. Also, I'm pretty sure his tires don't spin. They just stay yes. static. I, I, look, uh, Spectre's figured out the technology. <laughs> Those tires aren't even, like, needed. They're just kind of there for, you know, like, visual flair. It's like when you have, a, like, a toy car and the tires don't spin because it's actually got a smaller pair of wheels under it. Mm -hmm. So, Jay, I have a question. Is the best thing now for every bus just to twirl around and do a circle? <laughs> you know, it's not a bad way to go about things. <laughs> like, in life in general, too. So, you don't have to hit that thing when it's green, right? Um... Like, there's a small window after it closes that you can hit it, but you basically have to hit it when it's green. Okay, because that window seems really small for hitting. This seems like a pretty tough fight. We are nearing the end of the game, after all. And you have to stand in this uh, green zone, mm -hmm. um, or else it turns red, and then you don't... Jake doesn't, like, try to hit you. Oh, okay. Oh, huh. He's like, oh, green means go! <laughs> and he knows that. He remembered that before he was uh, brainwashed by the apes. Right. Well, there's just some things that you can't erase. Right. Weird that he's not using, like, the flying thing his car did. Eh. Oh, he died. Well, no, this car has five stars safety rating. Ow. Jake! Uh, what? Where am I? <gasps> we saved him. Jake, are you okay? Also, I'm better than you. I... Oh, this is so weird. I don't remember. I, I can't remember what I've been doing. 
Are you okay? Yeah, whatever. This is the kind of thing every war criminal tries. Remember that time I kicked your ass? Or the other time I kicked your ass? Or the the third time? Hey, do you have any Spectre coins for me? I won them fair and square. Yes, it's really you. You're back to normal. I'm gonna shake the concussion out of you, Jake. It's okay. I do remember something about Spectre and apes or something, but what? Yeah! Let's go tell the professor. Put me down. Oh, look, you've broken the spell. It's just as well. I really don't need you anymore anyway. Everything's going exactly as I planned it. I totally meant for this to happen. It's Spectre. <laughs> I wanted my car to be exploded. I had insurance on it. You're smarter than I thought you were. I could use somebody like you. Why don't you join me and we'll conquer the world together? When we're a team, no one will be able to beat us. You're crazy if you think I'll team up with you. Oh, I was kind of hoping there'd be like a yes, no option here and you can say yes if the game stands. He's like, ah, you can't blame a chimp for trying. <laughs> find me in my new castle in the middle of the amusement park. Not my old bullshit castle. You can come to the new one. For you. I'll be waiting. Are you really going? God, I love how squished their faces are. They're so cute. Uh, I'm going with you. Uh... I like the way their mouths just like no. protrude out of their faces. <laughs> it's great. Classic anime style. You need to regain your strength. The professor will need your protection. But. <laughs> okay. I understand. Take this gun, Jake. <laughs> I've been saving it for way. just this occasion. Can you get back there on your own? Wow, I didn't notice how wobbly <laughs> this game gets whenever the camera moves. I think it's the hair. It just doesn't seem to know, like, how to actually use Spike's hair. <laughs> Spike! Jesus, man. 